Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming, and this is the Walking Dead Road to Survival Epic Prestige Mission. So uh, we got a brand new addition to the Five Star Army, and you guys saw the other video. I'm up to Prestige level 11, and along the way, uh, Mission came along for the ride, and I got an item to upgrade her as well too. So it won't be long before we take her up to tier two. But today, I want to show you guys the uh, character. We'll talk about the upgrade that's going to happen very, very soon, and talk about the character. Let me know if you guys think that this is epic enough to be like the the highest prestige that you can get because once you get to you know prestige level 13 you can be walking around with a uh, kitana that's going to resurrect people so i know that's pretty legit but let me tell you some of the things that i do like about this card um the ap let's well we'll just go ahead and take a look so the adrenaline rush is cut down and you can see it's a little bit slow but don't just dwell on the fact it's slow now for rating it may be too slow but for missions or um, you know any of the other stuff that you're doing uh, roadmap missions world map missions any of those things take a look at this deal 275 percent damage and minus 45 percent attack and minus 45 defense so basically she's a walking nerve gas tear gas because she is going to lower the attack and lower the defense all in one shot I mean it's pretty amazing if you're doing some of these roadmap missions or you're on these gear hunts any of those things I think she's going to be extremely legit so you can also uh, Take a look at her specialist skill, which is collateral damage. So a little bit of that splash damage as well, too. And I don't think I have... If I do have a collateral damage, it's it's way low. I don't even think that I have one as of yet. So this might be my first one to get that. So I'm pretty anxious to see uh, you know, how we can raid with her. I'm going to add her immediately because you guys know I don't have a lot of green. So she's going to go to my Hulkamania team. I'll throw her up there with Lee, throw her up there with Ezekiel and Glenn, and we'll just kind of make it work somehow because I'm going to run a mono green at some point. But she is going to lag along a little bit because it's going to take a while for me to get her up to tier 3, obviously. I can get her up to tier 2 relatively easily. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, one turn you know, to enemies and all enemies adjacent. So she can basically hit all five of them. She hits the one in the middle. Um, now, whether or not the, you know, the things will still be alive when she gets a chance to hit them because they are so slow, that's going to be open for debate as well. So... Really, really interested to see what you guys think. Also wanted to show you guys this character as soon as possible. She is a soldier, so a little different persona. And what is nice about that is I do have a soldier trainer. So let's go ahead and let's level her up a little bit. We got a few soldiers in there. Oh, we got more than a few soldiers. All right, I'm liking this. And let's give her a soldier trainer. Now, it's a chance for nine levels, so uh, you know you never know. We can see this adrenaline rush go up. I don't know if I've ever went up more than like three or so, but think high level. We're going to take her up 15 levels right now and hopefully get this adrenaline rush working a little bit faster. Here we go. 63,000 food is no problem. All right. Go at it. And she is going to go up how many? One. Very nice. <laughs> Used, I tried to stack it. I only had the one guarantee, but I threw a bunch of soldier trainers out there as well. We know that uh, Scopely does not like me with those AR rushes. That's for sure. It takes me a while. But uh, you can see now we got her up to level 16, a uh, little bit more legit. She's got a little bit more health. And let's take a look at, as I said before, you can see there is the uh, Michonne's headband that we can upgrade her. So once I get to level 50, she's going straight to tier number two. So that's going to happen pretty quickly, I think. Who knows? I'll open a few of my prestige crates and maybe I'll get some trainers. Be able to take her up a little bit faster. I am going to do a prestige crate opening a little bit later and talk about some different things, some salvage tokens. But let me show you guys real quick a little bit of the... Uh, inventory so if you go into gear these are some of the items that I can use for upgrades uh, we got governor's patch eye patch there we got the uh, yeah I already I don't have her shackles but I do have her cloak so actually I can take uh, Michonne up to tier three once I level her up a little bit faster because I do have I got her headband and also got her cloak so yeah we're in uh, I forgot I had that second item so we're good to go and I got a few of the other things um, one more flash last ditch effort um oh i guess we'll take a look at the uh, supply depot all right i'm gonna go over that with you guys in another video as well too we'll talk about that addition um but one additional thing that i did want to point out here and that has to do with the All right, so we'll take one more quick look at the roster. You can go in. We'll see uh, where we view a couple teams here. 
I'm gradually going to work on a prestige team. Where do I have them? There they are. They're only C plus right now. I guess we got to click on them. And there you can see the governor, Nishon, and also Negan. One more last ditch effort to Scopely that I will say. We need more character slots. Scopely, you're going to give us all these prestige, all these additional characters. Come on. And they should just be, you can't jack up the price. I know, uh, you know, it's another issue. I did a rant on this where we bought them. I was up to 550 at one point. They got taken away. And then I don't want to go back and have to buy these things for three or 400 I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to lose my mind if they start selling these things back to me after they repossessed them from me. But, uh, you know, we need to do something to add more character slots because, and I'm going to say it uh, once again, we need to have collector's items and also items that can be active. So, Scopely, if you really want to fix this, you know, only allow people to have a certain amount of active character slots. That way they can only be used for uh, level up tournaments and those things and then have a non-active character roster. Maybe they can't activate, but they can use them as collector's items. That's my thought. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that as well, too. This has been Epic Prestige Michonne. My name is Killshot. Thanks for watching. Peace.